artists, you never know who your work will touch. But the virtual exhibit at the Wausau Museum of Contemporary Art is one of schedule, several scheduled to be sent to the moon. News Channel 7's Drew Sutherland spoke to one local artist whose work will be immortalized in space. This is where it all began at the Wausau Museum of Contemporary Art. And little did Carol Lisevich know that when she applied to be part of their latest exhibit, she'd end up helping to make history. So there's painters from all over that got in this show and then uh, this was unbeknown to anyone that all of a sudden this show along with others was picked to be sent to the moon, so to speak, in digital form on a little SD card. The project is the work of physicist and author Dr. Samuel Peralta. He's just this almost entrepreneurial man that just loves art and he wants to forever encapsulate it somewhere otherworldly. So when you look up at the moon, it's like, oh my God, there's going to be like the digital rendition of the girls up there. It's not the first lunar art time capsule to be launched, but it is historic. This had been done once before by some of the big name people that you know today, like Andy Warhol, but, and also to have it where it's the first, you know, female artists to get mm -hmm. launched, that's pretty cool. Dr. Peralta wants the project to be a message to future explorers that even in this time of war and pandemic and climate change, there's also creativity and beauty and hope. It's, it's nice that there's something more and there's, we're, we're able to show other beings or whatever that there is good here and, and it's going to be made no matter what. Lisevich told me it was an honor just to be chosen to be part of the show and I think it's safe to say she's over the moon about the latest development. In Wausau, Drew Sutherland, News Channel 7. Lisevich is one of 1,200 artists around the world whose work will be digitized and will hitch a ride up to the moon on July 21st.